Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today we are going to be listening to Kim Petras, Turn Off the Light. Here we go. I am so excited. Just because this is an actual, like, album, I believe uh, the very first um, part was, like, a volume one, but now this is an album. It's an album. So there has some, uh, like, meat to it. Also, I was looking at it last night when it dropped and I realized that volume one is included in this one. I did not realize that. So it was funny because last night at, I think it was a little bit after midnight, she uploaded all these songs on her YouTube channel. And I was like, I remember Omen. I remember Transylvania. Is this, is this remixes? But Will only be reacting to songs I have not heard but if you haven't seen my review for volume one go watch that but without further ado first track purgatory <laughs> coming out the gate with that Halloween theme I love it I love it I love it <laughs> drag me down Oh, take me to your haunted house. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Let's do it. I, I said I was ready. I'm scared. <laughs> what in the transitions is this? I love it though. Okay, that was the intro. Very Halloween-ish. I felt that. Um, all right, let's uh, keep going. By the way, um, if you guys are kind of like easy about my lighting, it's because I'm using natural light because for some reason I cannot get good lighting in my room. Usually I get really good lighting by turning on a light or something like that. Nope, today is not that day. Today they're gonna be like, it's gonna be dark and I'm like, I'm already black, but you know, whatever, we'll make it work. <laughs> Next song, There Will Be Blood. Hopefully not my blood. I would like it to be inside my body. And if it's coming out, um, send help. Oh, by the way, I did do my uh, makeup for this as well. Cause like, Halloween. <laughs> oh man. Um. I tried. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. I tried. I feel personally attacked. Uh, am I gonna die? Um, I don't want to, but like, if it's for Kim Petrus, I will. That's fine. Oh. Oh. Okay. I love how uh literally she just like spit bars at me and then in the background there will be blood like oh, I don't I don't know I don't know Hold on the sun would decide to come out and be like oh illuminate the face and then it would disappear and then be like oh back to darkness and I'm like okay thank you but like did I just ruin my ma are you kidding me I'm literally the person shouting in the background that's me <laughs> just so you know There will be blood. I, I'm so excited this album's here. Oof. Oof. Next song, track three, Bloody Valentine. I am literally that person on those keys going. I move 
somewhere else in my room. Hopefully the lighting stays this way because I don't know what is going on with this lighting, but I feel like it's much better here. Oh, oh the frustration. <laughs> Oh, y'all? Ooh. There's something in the background. It sounds like a clicking noise. Hold on. Let me see if I can find... Like, let me see if I can... Yeah. I wonder if that's like a photograph being clicked or something like that. I, I don't know. But it's such an interesting thing in the production. like the production was there and then all of a sudden it slowed itself down. That was really, really nice. Okay. Okay, it's just dying out now. There was flies, like somebody getting out of a car. Ooh, damn. Bloody Valentine. Very repetitive, I must say. A lot of this is repetitive. I don't dislike it, but I kind of want something like uh, Close Your Eyes from Volume 1. I, I kind of want that anthem. There Will Be Blood was that anthem, but I don't think it was strong enough. Like, I remember Close Your Eyes, and I was like, ooh. I remember Transylvania, and I was like, ooh. This is not ooing for me. Hey, it's Halloween themed. That's what I wanted. She gets an A plus for that. I mean, Halloween, you know. Track four, Wrong Turn. I saw that movie. It didn't end well. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. This is what I want. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. I can't see this, but my knee is literally like bouncing up and down. I was just asking for a song like this and then she gave, okay, okay, okay. I'm back into it. Oh God. I love how she included You're My Bloody Valentine because that was the track with <laughs> Yes! Oh! Link the songs together! Come on! <laughs> Yay! Where we going? Where we going? I am who you really fear. <laughs> hey! Hit me with the chorus, go! Revamped chorus. <gasps> okay, okay. That is what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna go back, but trust me, that is a strong contender for best song. Strong. It's like I wanted it and she gave it to me. Wrong Turn, had a storyline in it, had the sounds in it, had 
refer to other songs in it? Come on. Come on. Oh my God. If I don't get a music video, there will be blood. Hmm. Are we talking about actual demons? Are we talking about metaphorical demons? Let me... Okay, track five, demons, let's do this. What in the Charlie XCX? Ooh. In physical form, it only exists in spirit form. It's truly demons. Okay, okay. Ooh, okay, give me that ghost hunter intro. They only come out at night. Lock your doors, hide your kids, cause they're standing in your door. Ooh! Ooh! That transition was nasty. Okay. I feel like I'm falling. I can't get up. Oh. Demons. Okay. I will say this. I am uh, very pleased that this is like every single song is going into every single song. The transitions from one song to another are Ooh, because that's one thing I was actually really nervous about with this album was, was it going to be a continuation of the last one? And was it going to be effective? Like some people just continue the last one, but it really has no like substance to it whatsoever. So, oh, oh man, I want to go back to wrong turn though. Oh, okay. We got three more songs. Tere, Diane, you can wait. You can wait. Massacre. <laughs> I like being massacre in my heart. <laughs> it wasn't funny. I'll put it away. All right. Track six, Massacre. It's giving me chills. Like I'm cold. Like I'm cold. Was online when there will be blood now there's gonna be a massacre well shit that was me that was me i would love to learn the background vocals for this i'm gonna try to learn it yeah because i feel like i would be such a good background vocalist for this I got you, Kim. If you want to take the lead, I'll, I'll sing background vocals. Yes! I could do this. I could do this. I will be a background singer for you. You let me know if you need me. I'll come in clutch. I feel like she keeps hyping me up. She keeps teasing me. Like, ooh, it's gonna build. And then she's like, no. Nope. And I'm like, why? I'm like, why? I've been a good noodle. I feel like so many things are coming at me right now. And I'm just like, oh, God. vocals kim i hear you layering it i hear your voice hold on do you hear her do you hear yes sing is that a knife it's a knife it's a knife. Um, the next song is called Knives, but hold on, let me like analyze what I just listened to. So Massacre, I feel like it's going to be a track that done live could be awesome. But for some reason, I found myself 
like once she started layering all those things in towards the end, I really liked the track. But when she went back to massacre, then the verses, massacre, then the verses, I was like, where are we going? I kind of zoned out for a bit because it it just seemed kind of really repetitive with that chorus. But uh, I do genuinely like the track. I, I I'll do background vocals. I. I I was already like, la, 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 Like, I was already on it. But, I would like to see this live. Song, Knives. Track 7, Knives. She's already sharpening knives on this last song, so like... <laughs> Who did I piss off today? <laughs> I wonder how she got the sound effect. Did, like, I really want to know if this was, like, genuinely done. Because, like, I don't know. Like, was she just sharpening knives or did she get the sound effect from something else? I, I don't know if it's, like, personally done. If it was, kudos. But, like, that knife sound track. Oh, that knife sound. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I like how she, I also like how she has songs like this where I can just dance to and like do the monster mash or the time warp in my privacy of my own home because let's just be honest here. I have a lot of dance parties by myself and uh, this is what I would get down to and hopefully nobody opens the door because <laughs> oh, they just go see to Ray just doing the sprinkler around my room. <laughs> I literally feel like tonight I'm gonna be laying in my room and listening to this and all of a sudden I'm just gonna hear this and I'm gonna be like uh, at the end of this I'm gonna go through all these songs and like y'all know which one is my favorite so far unless like death by sex really like solidifies it for me but uh, my final thoughts are coming Track eight, Death by Sex. Okay, this is the Kim I know, okay? Okay, hi Kim, how's it going? Okay, I heard you. Ooh, that sounded so nice. she's being honest <laughs> I I understand where that's going okay so time for my final thoughts. Okay, so Purgatory, I really like the intro for that. Um, it really set the stage of what we were going to listen to, no problems. There Will Be Blood, I wanted that track to be a little harder. It seemed very cutesy. And you're really sc screaming about There Will Be Blood, honey. I kind of wanted Kim to take an aggressive approach to that, just a little bit. Not saying the song is crap, not saying the song is eh. I'm just saying, if there's going to be blood, I want to hear it. Like, I feel like, ooh, if you let me on her team, let me produce, let me, let me inspire you. Because I feel like it would have been so cool if we had like some hot 
drizzling blood somewhere. Like, you could hear it in, like, one of the, like, drizzling somewhere. Like, I don't know why I want that, but I do. Like, it's not a bad song. I just wanted it to be more aggressive. Um, Bloody Valentine. I really like that track because it was referred to in um, Wrong Turn. So, I really like how Bloody Valentine was before Wrong Turn. That's, I really like how that was built up. Wrong turn is that bitch. I, that's what I was waiting for. That's my close your eyes. That's what I was waiting for and she gave it to me. Thank you. Now, I wish there was more songs like that on this album. I am not going to lie to you. Like, I really enjoyed volume one a lot, but... I was expecting Wrong Turn, and some of the tracks just didn't really get it there. Um, Demons, keep. I love a good Demons. I love a good, like, interlude. Um, it was only a minute and 58 seconds, and I, I feel like it fit what she was trying to, like, convey with this. Massacre is still a little eh for me. Like... I think I just didn't like how it was versus chorus versus chorus or chorus versus chorus, versus, vice versa. Um, but I do like when she started building things on there. I think that is one thing that I love Sophie for. That is one thing I love Charlie XCX for. When they are producing something, they don't let it just be constant for like half of a song. They build things on to keep your interest. And like halfway through that, I lost interest. And then she started building on. And that's when I started gaining interest. When she started to actually like belt out and sing. That's why I was like, ooh, okay. I, I, I didn't know where we were going and I was intrigued. Um, knives, keep it. Why not? It's a knife. <laughs> Death by sex. I don't know if... I, I like the transition from that to Omen. I do like that. And also, I will say that it reminded me of Kim Petras. Even her, like, not Halloween stuff. If somebody heard that, they'd be like, oh, that's Kim Petras. So that is why I'm keeping it. Um, but is it a favorite of mine? If it came on my radio, uh, Kim Petras on Pandora, I wouldn't skip it. Um, but my top song, top song, wrong turn, wrong turn is that bitch. I've never loved a song as much as I love this one. And without further ado, I'm going to replay it again because that intro, that intro, tell me a story. Now. It was perfect for this album, um, but I wish more songs were like that one. Um, and it's not saying that the other songs are bad or anything like that. It's just uh, I found my song and uh, I'm going to stick to it. Uh, now, going into having volume one included, if you didn't hear a Kim Petras when she released volume one, I'm kind of glad that she stuck it in with the actual album. Just so, hey, this is what you missed in case like you're just happening across it. So I really did enjoy that she put that at the end and also the transition from um, the new tracks to the older ones was very smooth. I will give her that. Um, I really enjoy, like, I don't, there's a few artists that can actually release something because I didn't hear any singles. There are a few artists that can release something of fan art, um, of album covers and things like that and cause this much, like, hysteria because I was so excited for this album and I hadn't even heard it. I've literally just looked at what she's released on Instagram, what was out there of like maybe the track listings that were all shuffled together like 
that is amazing to me that just releasing that can cause me to be excited. So for that, I applaud this album. It's Halloween themed. I mean, come on. I'm all ready for Halloween. I'm having a Halloween party this month. So my first party I'm throwing. So um, I'm definitely, if I do play some of her music, which I think I'm going to, um, I will record it and uh, make a whole video for you guys to watch. But uh, I, I have to applaud her. Like to take a hol holiday, um, and make it into an entire album and then have a continuation of it and be this, have your fans be this hyped and this excited for it without hearing anything, that's impressive. So thank you, Kim Petras, for releasing another awesome, 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 awesome album. Gosh, dang. Oh, whoo. That was a lot. So if you guys watch this, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, if you would like, subscribe to my channel down below. I try to upload uh, new videos every week, whether it's a yes or next or whether it's something you recommended or a new album that just came out like this. Um, and like this video if you liked what you saw. I'm so sorry about the lighting. Like today it's a no and I was like, okay, whatever. Today's not my day, all right. <laughs> so uh, I will see you guys in the next video.